and welcome to another episode of Cafe 21. I'm your host, Ross Crawford, and in the hot seat today, we have another very special guest. Our guest today is the president and founder of BusinessGate, um, renowned for their export business, the Development Consultancy. She has also received global recognition for her tireless efforts to progress sustainability in business, encourage investment in Africa, and honestly, so much more. I've no idea how she's found the time to talk to us today. Um, all the way from Dubai, welcome to the hot seat, Her Excellency, Leila Rahal. How are you, Leila? Hi, hello, greeting from Dubai. I'm so happy to be with you and thank you for this invitation. And now because of you and others, the globe has become a small island to communicate with the technology and that is fantastic. <laughs> That's why we're looking to collaborate with you more and more and how we grow this business together. Thank you. Oh, we're so excited to have you here at SDGC. Like I say, you have a very busy schedule, so I'll, I'll keep it quick for you and our audience. Um, so you know the drill. There's just three questions and there's three answers. Are you ready? Yes, of course, we're ready because it's not about the questions. It's the answer who are more difficult. We try our best with you, but as you are positive energy, we're going to do it. Thank well, you. We're going to try. We're going to try. I, I try and bring the answer. Sure. sure. Firstly, um, I wanted to discuss the, the subject of leadership with you. you. You seem to be a bit of an expert on leadership and I've seen some of your TED Talks, it's fantastic stuff. So what do you think are the key characteristics of a strong business leader in the 21st century? Oh, the good question. The key of characters of leadership is different from country to country and culture to culture and perspective to perspective. We cannot be leader globally in the same way and keep the same key. Of course, of the success, the key are changing. So if you want to be successful today as leadership, you have to be in the volunteer of the economy globally, and you have to follow that business around the world, internationally need to be a leader. The opportunities is very similar and we have to partner with alliance and senior managements, and we have to have a vision for the team to extend our business and how to motivate them internationally. You have to think about our teamwork, how to collaborate together to make them upgrade, how to make them more knowledgeable and happy and to teach them the process of leader, how to get accusations of the skills to work across the region and nationally, globally, internationally. And also, I think um, it's not now anymore about a boss, leadership, director, manager. It's about servant leadership because the skills is well required. The new technology is changing the globe. No more leader. You can do all your process from one small electronic device. We have before everything a humanity, second, the knowledge, confident, sensibility of culture and diversity and unity and humanity. I think we have to be honest with our team and we we'll make the global strategy thinker. Um, as a leader, we have to be also um, the goodwill ambassador, I mean, goodwill to the people presenting all this global experience to be deep self-awareness sensitive to the culture and diversity the humility to be humility a lot of things a life coach we have to be as leader coach we have to coach this team we have to be similar like them honest with them if we're not honest and supervisor we cannot achieve uh, and acknowledge and trust this team, make them comfortable and make them to be a leader in position to lead that business without you. I think you're absolutely right. I think the soft skills are now just as important as any of the hard uh, hard work ethic skills um, that it takes to get into these high ranking positions. I think the soft skills are just as important these days. Um, you mentioned technology there and the important part that plays in, in leadership and in management and managing a global business now as you see you can sit at your desk in a little laptop now and you can basically you can almost run a global business these days um, so obviously we're a sports tech conference and thinking about that tech aspect how do you think technology has helped um, and can continue to assist global businesses um, particularly in still developing countries 
you're talking about technology. We are now using technology. If not this technology, we will be not talking. If it's not this technology, we will not be communicating. The technology has been to the global impact economy. It's best. It's a critical competition strategy. It has globalized all the companies and the nation for the same system, like we say, and the countries. Now, ethical standards become very technology and focus on innovations. This revolution is swapping and changing and transforming all the globe in material, electronic delivery for the services, both public, private sectors. All the economy now is swapping to technology. The business now need this technology, need this future, need this digitalization, need this transformation. Uh, if we see uh, even the healthcare is being fast, swapping to the delivery. A smartphone, do raise up because of the technology. Uh, banking system now across the globe is uh, use the technology. With one device, you can transfer millions. Uh, advanced transformation has been changed to help a lot of creation and growth of uh, the market. Multiple functions in one task. Even they reduce the employment you don't find in the office 12, 13. Digital, digitalization have a lot of services on trade, on marketing and foreign affairs, even in ministries. Everything is being digitalized. Uh, E-learning, e-marketing, universities now, they're teaching the people through platforms. Uh, we can do a lot of big economy just on technology. Okay, so finally, your last question. Um, I've done a little bit of research, um, Her Excellency Leila. I've discovered, I believe you speak at least five different languages. Is that right? Yes, I speak exactly eight to nine. Eight five to perfect, the others is like, help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and so how important is it now to develop uh, an ability to communicate in not only multiple languages but anybody um, as an entrepreneur a business leader and um, you're also a diplomat so how, how important is it to be able to communicate globally um, with people from different cultures so um if you talking to me about uh, like uh, communication is the cross of the leadership functions and key of characteristic and good leader affected to communicate with others. Communication is one tool and uh, one impact, how you lead everything with others. We need the skills of communication. We need to learn this. We need to organize our level of committee in the group. We have to have sometimes a goal skills of escalator how to talk to each other. You need to think with whom you are dealing with clarity. The experience of um, communication and tolerance between the nation, let me focus in my skill more. And that's why I learned many languages, how to talk, because I want to reach to uh, others' customers. I don't need someone to communicate in between. But to improve that fact, I need to learn. And knowledge always well required. Every day we're learning something. I learn from you, you learn from me. Uh, the ethic of uh, leadership and communication, it's uh, required thousands percent. It's a powerful skills, which let you ways and to listen to others that's the communication ability. You have to be a good listener, not only a talker. And then we come to the communication, there is like Chinese, for example. They're everywhere, even they don't communicate. But what they are power, they put them people everywhere to learn a language and to do that parallel diplomacy. And you find them with different tasks, with different uh, skills, with different language. They are talking everywhere and they are listeners. Our problem, sometimes, even me, we don't listen to each other. And um, we don't have to talk the same language, but we have to talk the same goals of business. The success, everybody looking for success. The success is a responsibility. When you want to succeed, first, you don't have to zone of competition, but enter in zone of collaboration. 
you have to have vision, mission, and success there to extend your business. As business women, uh, I don't let the money, I am not slave to the money, but I let the money to be my slave. I have to follow those competitive to understand the knowledge of competition, but I don't compete with them. I enter to zone of business if I am secure, if I am committed, if I'm really ready for it. I don't want to be not ready for any surprises and not balanced. You know, the, some C CEOs, they enter to zone of the business uh, with the diplomacy. Talking about the diplomacy in a business, we need that BGGG, government to government. Why do you make this diplomat? You think they make diplomat just for political issues? No, more importantly, make this leader diplomat in the region for more how to trade to each other, how to understand the culture of each other, how they make money and be contract with each other. Like how we make this globe in this diversity one small village. Now you can find a lot of brands globally and a lot of technology coming across for the airport, same cameras, same flags, same this, because we need to live with each other. The business is bridging and cross globalization, not to fight, to make one hand and to be one heart, to serve the humanity. All the business can burn if there is no human being. So even this digitalization, this technology, we create it. So we don't have to fight with, we have to survive with. So what is happening in the earth today with this pandemic that we have to think and to reschedule our life and to lead the show as a maestro. Each one, he have brightness and a light inside him. Each one inspiring others have to be a missionary to do something for the humanity. Business need humanity and humanity need a business, but all of us, we need the knowledge, amability, we need cooperation, not competition. Thank you today for inviting me. I'm glad to be here with you. And I hope that there is a lot of channel like you who spreading love, peace, tolerance, and also showing case of people who deserve it. Thank you again. Your sister always, Leila. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. That's fascinating stuff there. Um, once again, um, obviously, I have to commend you for your your humility. I think it's um, really um, lovely to see. Um, so, thank you again for sitting in the hot seat today with us at STGC, and we wish you well for the future. Thank you. See you. Bye.